really dumb. <laughs> and the light is green. Oh. All right. Who wants to explain what happened last time? Yeah, okay, so we found out that the great grand plot of this whole adventure is Lolf pranked Grump. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't know why Lolf has pranked Grump. The thing is, it's Lolf, so usually that's not a worthwhile question to ask. Because <laughs> it's Lolf. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And then we just asked a few more questions. We bonded quite well with our new cohort, and we saw the horrible possible final moments of King Bruner Battlehammer. Aside from that, just sort of lounging around in a place of learning. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is having a certain effect on some of the party. <laughs> you expect the party to learn? I really fucking do. It's been years now, guys. <laughs> Love you, too. You can take off the two. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, and we're reclining. We've got a new day and some more questions. Do we? And our general consideration is let's not fucking bother asking about the wizard... Let's ask about the demons. Because they are currently doing things, and hilariously, canonically, they're just making the best of a bad situation. <laughs> they were pulled here, they had no long-term plans when they arrived, and, and they decided, let's just get busy. And I'm still hoping in Zuckmoy's case, it's a legitimate thing if she just wants a husband. She isn't planning the great devastation. Because that would just be funnier. <laughs> I mean, that would be a way to make the adventurous assholes. Yeah. It's like, okay, so sure, any outcome of this, there's going to be massive devastation if she bonds with this, but man, she's really into it. <laughs> You know how hard it is to go dating in the abyss and not marrying an asshole? As the party then find themselves <laughs> the awkward phase of trying to stop Jubilex from running in to voice its objection. <laughs> we can't fucking seal the place, he's an ooze, he'll get in through any crack. <laughs> I still love you. I think his is more, <laughs> bitch, I love you. <laughs> Love you, it's bitch. not a healthy relationship. I'm loving yeah. you, bitch. <laughs> but it's as healthy as ever gonna get in the abyss. <laughs> well, I don't know. We haven't checked up on Malconfit. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically where we stand right now. Oh, and we need to get Grump's book. Which would have been difficult if you hadn't ended up revealing later that Gromph is Sir not appearing in this story. <laughs> Sir not appearing in this film. <laughs> he's the cause, he's the source, he's not here. <laughs> you know exactly where he is. <laughs> well, he is in Luskin. Yeah. Anyway, on we go. <laughs> so now you're considering what questions you want to be asking today. So as a reminder for the stones, the stones are only going to be helpful so far as they can show you things. If it's a question you want to see the answer to, it can help you. If you're looking for a answer that is something that is like a yes or a no or something like that. That's something that you need to be asking the books. And I'm gonna fucking point out, because I'm sure some of you might misremember or such. Do not ask any and ask a stone any question about Demogorgon unless it's where he has previously been and where he is going now. Do not ask about anything he's doing presently because you'll fucking look at him. And that'll be an issue. <laughs> 
Statues of him are bad for your brain. Getting up close to his thought processes might do you a bit more. But let's find out. Let's find out a few things here. So, who do we care about in the great demon issues? Do we is know if, first? is it worth ask, asking whether uh, what demons have been summoned or are currently summoned? Yeah, we were looking that up. We could find that book again. Two. Yeah, I, I'd hate to think we send five back and they've summoned seven. Yeah, that'd be a real horrible thing, wouldn't it, Rena? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we are work. We will be working with uh, the dry wizard on, you know, these summoning them, which leads to a lot of other questions. Now that I think about it, because they're going to have to converge, aren't they? You can't just do the spell and say, I want that one who is so many miles away plinked out of existence, along with that one who is many leagues further. Hmm. But uh, we should definitely check on who's walking about. We know a couple, at least. We know... I always forget his name. Fraz... Fraz Erblu. Yeah, Fraz Erblu. He's at least, for now, staying where he should be. I suppose I could look up what the wolf's fucking doing. That'll be a fun little search, but that doesn't need the stones. That's book. Unless she's prone to monologuing. I mean, y you've seen... L Lolf is the Lady of Chaos. Do you really expect her to be silently brooding? <laughs> uh, I'll still take the cliff notes written down. <laughs> It's a better option to listen to her tangents go off. She's got to be the uh, type to make it, it, it her problems, everyone else's problem. Well, this just gets a bit much whenever she gets halfway through her scheme and then points out the birds were never real. They were an elf invention. See, this sounds kind of fun to me more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'll listen. <laughs> Lou, you're asking what Lolth is doing. Yeah. I, I don't let him hold the stone. I'm just thinking, you're a dry. Do you really want to do this? I'm probably, like, I'm like the poster boy of drow she wants to kill, right? Like, already? Pretty much, I. Y y yes, yes, love. Yes, you are. It could possibly get worse. <laughs> she could actually get you. She well, would have to actually get him, though. It wouldn't be hard. Would she bother? You're going to slide for her forever. <laughs> You're, are you suggesting that Wolf is not a petty bitch? I mean, she, she hasn't she been... Like, wouldn't she like to uh, release an agent of chaos upon the world? There's agent of chaos, uh, and then there is a shining beacon of all the problems. I cause fun problems, <laughs> not genocidal problems. Well, no, it's a good thing that you're uh, anathema to Wolf's vision of the drive. That's a good thing. In fact, yeah. in you... that respect. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, if she hasn't found a way to track down Dritz yet, I don't think she's going to make somebody go out to hunt Lou specifically. Small potatoes. Hey. Is that a halfling joke? Did Saloon make a deal with her to kill us? Well, he what? was thrown to her because he was dead. Yeah. Alright, here's the stone. Good fucking luck. Uh, oh, I should actually pull up that because this is written up for me. Um, so, Lou, your vision clouds over. You all do move to the uh, archive of the present. Your vision clouds over and slowly it comes to a vision of the... If you had to guess, this is the area they refer to as the demon web pits. Which is definitely in the abyss, which means she is not on Toral, which is probably a very good thing for you all. Yeah, we did check uh, that. 
Good news. You are beholding the true form of the demon queen of spiders, that of a black, bloated arachnid with the head of a female drow. Nestled in the webs all around her are thousands upon thousands of gray eggs. Wolf knows she is being scried, and uh, her fury is tangible as her mind reaches out to find you. Her shriek of rage as she's shut out from the powerful wards of Raven Hollow echoes in your mind as the vision is suddenly torn away to darkness. Oh, she mad. Turns out I was she's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, library. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up, even. I'm just gonna go in this corner and shit myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go look up Art Incarnate, I guess, now. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go check that book on how I die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling how it's gonna end. <laughs> Got a backup character, well, right? You did feel yeah, that Luke. she could not find you. She did not find you. There's a drow. There's a drow priestess getting a lemon flung in her face as a sign. <laughs> yeah, she she has not found you <laughs> because the library did the not allow it. The drow priestess now has the uh, uh, the uh, mission: find the worst possible drow and kill him. <laughs> and so she just grabs any random dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Now she's standing there going, "Crap! You mean I have to go find Dritsto Erden?" No, no, he's not the worst. I mean, he can use a sword in either hand. That's pretty cool. It's also largely inflated to the truth, you know. <laughs> he got exaggerated over time. Maybe. Turns out he only ever used one sword in one hand. You know how things get exaggerated and blown out of proportion. So, Lou, do you tell the rest of the party <laughs> what you saw? Yeah. I mean, if Felric might want to cover his ears, I understand. No, go, go, so go I was ahead. right. Yeah, she's just down there, all the, with a bunch of eggs, chilling. I think I'll just go Bad. look at look at her book. Felic uh, does point out whose eggs are she watching? I, I, I mean, her, I would imagine hers. She's a spider. Spiders lay eggs, right? Why is she? Having thousands and thousands of children. Oh, is that not just a dry afterlife? No. I would have thought your whole theme was you get, you die, you go into a web, and you get wrapped up in a cocoon to become some new spider thing. No, we serve her normally as drow. Oh. All right, well, that's different then. Maybe that's why she kicked everybody else out. She's feeling protective. Getting broody. I mean, our problem is down here. We're, we're not going to the abyss. Oh, that's a horrible thought. Who'd fuck Lolf? They must have a crossbow against their head. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly she won't do it with an audience. <laughs> That's an awkward segment in the Patritz books. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that will be my agenda then. I'm going to go in search of Wolf and her current plan. Anything that you're going to be scrying, Harton, before you go. Hmm. You could check what the best place to eat in the Underdark is. I've, I've got that right here, wee man. Mm -hmm. Ah, true. It, it moves daily. Right. Uh, is there anyone outstanding we haven't found yet? Um, Yanagu, Orcus, Malkinthet, um... Did you find Jubilex last time? Rats. Well, I was meaning actually, you know, like, hey, you're doing Harper business, right? Could you find this dude or this dude? That sort of thing. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Hold on. Let me pull up that list. Oh, wait. Hang on. I know a fun one. Because the kids will ask anyway. Where is Drizido Erden? What's he currently up to? You have that moment where you go, Oh, yeah, this only works if the person's in the Underdark. But it starts working, anyways. Hmm. And you see a drow, a purple eyed drow with a. Oddly enough, he does not have a forest green cloak. Uh, he is a. He's currently. Uh, <laughs> in what seems to be a... I'm trying to describe... I'm trying to use words to describe where, where they're at right now. Mm -hmm. What seems to be an actual drow patrol. It's not just Dritz, or a couple of people. It seems to be a drow patrol from Menzo Barons on going into the city proper. He is mostly sticking with two other drow. One you do not recognize, and uh, another one that you do not recognize for a very long time, and then you feel really stupid when you see the eye patch. I mean, there was no way I wouldn't have noticed him. Come on. <laughs> I was about to say, he, he noticed the eye patch. I'm godfather to his son. <laughs> uh, you see, the thing is, he doesn't have the obnoxious hat. <laughs> well, he's dressed smartly. He's not dressed flamboyantly. <laughs> He also has a full head of hair. Okay, that would put me off. But then, don't forget, I also travel with Lou. <laughs> I see Jarlaxle's face with hair all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong color hair, though, at this moment. <laughs> y you have that moment where you're like, what the fuck is Lou doing? Oh! Oh! It, yes. It, apparently, he is currently with Jarlaxle, and they are with a large contingency of brown. Going into Menzo. That's right. best as you can tell. I convey most of this. Perhaps a change in management. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just doing a little um, political good deed. It does explain why he's been a bit snippy with ascendance. All right, I'm off to find some crazy bitches scheme. Pop potato to the next one. Mm. Well, I guess I can't take one of them to ask where Orcus is heading. I don't really know who to ask about at this point. Orcus? Ah, there we go. Your vision comes to... And you see what seems to be the heart of an alien cavern, glistening with slime. Scores of mind flayers gather around an enormous brain resting in a pool. Oh, dear. The brain is, the brain is dead. You hear the elithids' incomprehensible thoughts as they mourn its passing. One word echoes louder than the others. Cyrog. Suddenly, fairs rest great... Ugh. Phaserith I'll try that again. Phaserith bathes the dark and twisted hall in purplish light. A rift opens and a hulking horned figure that reeks of putridness steps out. It raises a skull-tipped wand and points it at the dead elder brain. The elder brain begins to pus or pulsate and you see intermittent flashes of purple light under its rotting flesh. The Mind Flayers are aghast as the Elder Brain speaks to them once more, telling them that Orcus has saved Cyrog and commanding them to follow it into undeath. Oh, that's bad. He fucking absoluted the brain. <laughs> that's what Orcus is doing. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like we're going to have to deal with the undead illithids now. That's just fucking fantastic. I suggest they toss the stone over to someone else. How dangerous could they be? They're brain dead. 
Yeah, which means now they have even less less of a, a will to survive. <laughs> Do you think it makes them hungrier being zombies? Maybe. They already no, they already needed brains, but now they need brains. <laughs> Would a zombie halfling just eat normal food, but more? <laughs> yeah, a zombie halfling would still just fucking eat. <laughs> <laughs> How'd he get up out of, out of his grave so quickly? He just fucking chewed through the dirt, man. <laughs> his feet haven't twitched once, he's just moving around by jaw power alone. Well, is there anybody else you all want to check in on? Potentially, there are people like Baphomet, Yanagu, um, Gratz, Malconfet. For obvious reasons, I'm like not that. looking at Malconfet. I'm a married man, I've already had issues with Succubi. <laughs> so, what about anybody else? A hawk's first going to look for a book on a de a, a demons currently summoned, summoned to the Underdark um, by rank, as it were, to see if there's any we've missed that we might want to check up on. Okay. Is there anything that anybody plans on doing with the stone while you all are all together, or, or are you going to split apart to just Try to look at things. Well, I already used the stone, so... But that is more Nad. aimed at the people who haven't. Mm -hmm. Bernard doesn't have any um, questions that he's thought of that seem to be um, worth using the stone for. Okay. Alright, I just pinned the stone on the Bernard Moss. Wonder what Yanagu's up to. And walk away. <laughs> <laughs> we should get an idea of all of them at least. One of you fucking ask for each. Okay. This can only end badly. Yanagu? Yeah, probably, probably worse if oh. you had the demogorgon. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I gave that fucking speech of warning. Yeah. You can ask, where is he going? As in just the place that Demogorgon is heading to. You don't ask about him. <laughs> For Yanagu, a hunched and rotting creature with the head of a fiendish hyena swings a triple-headed flail at a beholder, crushing it. As the eye tyrant falls to the floor, a pack of hyenas leap onto the corpse, and tears off its eye stalks while the demon lord licks the gore off his weapon. As the hyenas feed, they transform into slavering, cackling gnolls before your eyes. And then they continue their hunt. Unfortunately, you don't have enough information to identify where Yanagu is, but he is apparently roving and destroying and trying to increase his number. I relay what I've what I've just seen to the rest of the party. Well, I'm um, wondering how to escape to a place that might be safer later. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, hang on. I'm calling out a look. plot hole. Mm? How are we able to check on Lolf if she's not in the Underdark? Because she, it, what she's doing is affecting what is going on in the Underdark. Oh, I see. Very conditional. Technically, if you asked where Gromf is, it would show you where Gromf is right now. <laughs> we don't need to know. Because he... Yeah, well, I mean, you know exactly where he is. You saw yeah. him there. <laughs> well, we could scry him just to piss him off. Who wants to 
described wrong. <laughs> Here, Lou, you do it. He's already done it. Pass it to Felric. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Categorically, I will not do that. I mean, I'm not know. doing Camorial either. They'll never know. You want to bet? I mean, Lolf couldn't figure it out. <laughs> It, was that more of a blasphemy than killing a high priestess? Was scrying on Lolf? <laughs> I don't want to know, darling. I would do it whenever you shot her. her right through the face. She just dropped dead. She didn't. She didn't know who, but I. And I'm not inclined. No, we know exactly where Gromp is, and that is where we're going That'd to leave him. You then. scry him. He gets that little tinge of what's going on here, and then finds out later from Jalaxel who went to the library, and he starts pinning blame. Exactly! No! <laughs> I'd prefer to stick to Demon Lords. Oh, good! You're volunteering then. You can check out Malconfet. Hi. He takes it. He asks about Malconfet's current location. And looks very fucking confused. To be fair, this lot I couldn't trust them to be overstimulated. There was nothing You're stimulating. Saying I wasted my question. Well, I can't risk it. There's a lot of long-term bachelors here. Felric just says, uh, after he's done. That was not stimulating at all. Good. What? What is she up to? Is she even here? I was very confused. If I had to guess, she is not in the Underdark. All right. Good. How about you I just tell us what her. you saw? I saw what seemed to be, I assume, a king and queen, and they were holding court. Human, elf, dwarf? Human. Hmm. It was bright. Maybe possessed? Some oh, sort. they're not, not in the Sword Coast, then. Not to be in land. It wasn't a court I'm familiar with. Hmm. Well, also, like, all the current cities here don't have fucking proper kings and queens. Yet. We'll see about one of them. Huh? Alright, well that's an odd one. Here you go, Horik. Which one do you want me to have a look for? I don't know, you got a, a preference at all? A leaning? That's why I was going to have a quick look and see if there's any demons we missed first. Well, a couple of the ones that you know you need to look for would be Baphomet and um, Drast. Yeah, go for all bath. He should be simple enough. He's just beast. Okay, I'll check on bath. <laughs> See if we can get an idea of where he is. Horik. The smell of blood fills your nostrils as you wander a maze of underdark tunnels, moving with purpose as your giant hooves crush stone underfoot. Phaser's light reveals your shadow is monstrous suggesting a hulking beast with a crown of horns. With your bloody glaive, you carve a swath through a forest of towering Zerkwood mushrooms that stand in your way. The tunnels beyond would confuse an ordinary mind, but you instinctively know the path you must take. Every step brings you closer to a magma-filled chasm, lodged in which is an enormous contraption of metal and stone, a weapon capable of reshaping the Underdark itself. And you are pulled back into the present. Or correction, back into the room. Uh, that wasn't good. And I relay what I felt. Whatever. Ah, yeah, that's unusual. I was expecting to be a bit like Yanagi, very simple. But no, he's got a scheme. Um, do I know 
who would have created this weapon? Was it dwarf work or what? You don't know anything about this weapon. Uh, Felric does speak up at the maze of tunnels and suggests that he might be in the area they refer to as the labyrinth. Well, that just seems entirely coincidental. Who'd put the god of the minotaurs into a labyrinth? I'll move you here and reveal the area in question. <laughs> It was actually an area that was marked out by that one drow patrol that you ran into. Oh, the law. The, the lady rinf. Gotcha. From the ancient world of labyrinth. Means hedge maids. Ooh, a mushroom hedge mage. Yeah. All the spores, the density. So what's at the center of this labyrinth that this beast got a demon thing would want? Uh Felric gives a shrug. To the books. I don't know. Sweetie, yep. go find us. us. <laughs> <laughs> A weapon powerful enough to remake the under, remold the underdark. Sounds like a bad thing. To be fair, Zogmo is hoping to jump. Well, but it won't have bones, but she's trying to jump off in the size. I could easily do it just with a fucking flex. <laughs> but I. Hopefully, there's a book or two on something like that there. You'd think so. <laughs> Mushroom roasted on the bone. Delicious. Well, it'll also be kind of difficult for us to do much at a part of this. Basically, halfway across the world. Actually, it's yeah, like a week's journey. <laughs> this is not a fucking week's journey. Just remember how long it took from Mental Dareth to uh, Neverlight Grove. <laughs> that took us several weeks. We were on the ocean. <laughs> We're also in prison for quite a chunk of it. And all around. How long did it take us to go from Gondolgrim to Graven Hollow? Um, let me pull up the chart. It sure looks like there was a more direct path, doesn't it? Well, well there was, just... just you had to go to Mental Tears to get the information for it. Yeah. Uh... So how long from Gondolgrim to Mental Deer, then, to simplify? You know, it'd be great if they actually gave you that. <laughs> I'm having to extrapolate it from some of the other ones. Of course, they don't give you that one either. Um... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it's it's just uh, what do you, what do you think? Okay. Yeah, so fifty days. I, I had to do some brief yeah, math. That's not too horrendous, <laughs> considering we're moving through twisting tunnels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if we're already in time crunch with whatever is, is going on up here, having to go down there and up again is not the time you want to give these creatures. <laughs> Still, might be interesting to know. Also, what if we use that weapon just to, like, kill the other demons? That could be good. Well, I guess the prop... I guess there's also the part of... Could we even be able to handle such a weapon? I mean, would you rather just punch the demons? Oh, no, I'd be all for a powerful weapon. It's just usually a weapon that powerful usually also requires a large vessel to be able to wield it. Yeah, Some, right, I'm up to the task. Tall. <laughs> <laughs> In the back, Mark is considering punching demons and it's smiling. <laughs> it's all he's got. <laughs> I mean, it's, been, 
I mean, he's had good results with his stunning strikes. He trained for half his life for this. The other half was spent the yeah. meal times. There was the time he tried to combine both, but that really didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the croissants just got crushed in his hands whenever he hit the target before he could make it, uh, draw it back and take a bite. All he learned was that there's no good flavor on a demon. There's got to be one or two tasty demons. Well, they break down in the sludge. So we just need to go get it to the source. Just go straight to where they live. Yeah, you need demon sashimi, basically, but it's got to be served quick. <laughs> you need yourself a demonologist who's be able to preserve any part of them. Or, you know, go straight to the abyss, and I'm sure there's no issues there of consuming demons. So the demon is dying, it's just going, going, what the fuck are you doing? I love you, you sick psychopath! Ah! All right, guys, there you go, you got grazed. What does Gaddix feel about having to ask about Gratz? Uh, he doesn't want to. Can Lou do it? <laughs> Lou's already done his part. I can ask. It just won't help. <laughs> what, he a strange change, right. what a strange change of circumstances for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the one thing. It's like, crap. He's right. Like, uh, He's yeah. just looking around like anybody else. <laughs> I'd only done my duty. I've done my part. <laughs> uh, okay. Gaddix, uh, what Gratz is currently up to is uh, not for stream. <laughs> but you, he's you, deep you in the maiden tell... of Neverwinter. No, 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 he is on the Underdark. <laughs> oh no, I've given. He, no. He's currently... no, no, that's the ju that's the thing. But Cornelius's brother said because he was dicking yeah, down a woman. <laughs> I know, yeah, but I know. Um, yeah. but you said not safe for streams. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, I gave that quest to be incel. You know, he's in the Underdark. He, he seems to be with a, a couple of drow. That's all you know. Okay. I, I relay this information. <laughs> in I'm great detail, there's measurements. <laughs> yeah, he was exactly like six inches over here. There was a table here. It was a, mm -hmm. you know... Well, he's here, then. So that's a question answered. Surprisingly circumcised. <laughs> I don't think he would be. I don't know. Is he it that detail? <laughs> you would be there. That, that'd be a oh, fascinating tough. crusade. We're going into the abyss. <laughs> We're going to take a little off the top. Every <laughs> Well, now that you've done that, does Uzana have anything before you all leave? <laughs> no, I can't quite think of anything that would be suited for our mission. I mean, you could ask whereabouts Jubilex is or something. We know he's here. We don't know whereabouts. Well, that is well, true. Pretty sure it was answered like he's heading for the wedding anyway. Mm. Can we attack him on the way to his the way he's going to the gift shop? Yeah. Again, it's just that thing of the fucking book apparently expects us to spend weeks asking questions here, and even with four questions a day from a normal sized party, it's like that it's, you're gonna run out That's very a long quickly. Time. Yeah, you're gonna mm -hmm. run out of things very, very quickly. <laughs> like you'd think one of the things one of the topic lists you could ask for is where are the ingredients the wizard needs? But no, he's got that handle. We just need to get the book. Yeah, because he, he will not tell you those until later. He will not tell you what the ingredients are until you meet up with him. And where's the book? He oh, it's a Menzo. I mean, we do have the opportunity to use questions to enrich ourselves as a party, right? We do. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a couple days on top, at least. To the sporting section. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I would so, like to find the almanac uh, of uh, Mental Branson's sports uh, outcome. To be fair, the section that starts a bit blank right now, they have a few issues. A couple of events are cancelled for a foreseeable future. <laughs> Although there's a demon rodeo you can always attend. Uh, that's not a rodeo in the traditional sense. <laughs> Maybe they like to call the graduation party. Hark, it's there and there's just a sign. All sporting events have been cancelled due to demon invasion. Do something about it first. <laughs> oh dear. We've got to take care of a problem before we can look into the future about sports. <laughs> Are we turning this into Back in the Future 2? <laughs> Wait, wait, we're, we're thinking too small here. We're thinking Menzo Sports. What the fuck do we care about that? We can bet on Dwarf Games. Oh. And because we're Dwarves, there's no there's no possible multiple path future. It's all just one result. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly well-engineered teams going at it. There's only one outcome possible. <laughs> Stalemate. You bet on how long until they throw the match rather than any result. <laughs> the first one to lose patience. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck right. me. All right, so... I bet for four days. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are you all... Are you going to stick together or are you splitting off into groups again? Yeah. I don't even know what to go looking for. <laughs> Who wants to check an art carnet with me? You've not sure, been around there be long enough. Sure, it'll be a fucking laugh. Actually, you know what? Look for your future of art incarnate. See if anyone finds those books. Yeah, that was the idea. <laughs> or is, it, is it just me in the future in like 200 years going back for them? <laughs> As an old senile drow. <laughs> where's my, where's no, my books? Luke. Lou, I, I am very annoyed that you, you you just gave what I was going to have the book say. <laughs> <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> no one, like, there's obvious signs that people have been here. This temple has been rebuilt a few times. It's even been used as a place of sleep and worship and recreation. No one fucking touched those books. <laughs> there is undisturbed <laughs> dust upon them. But it's phaserous dust, dude. <laughs> I can sell these. <laughs> just anyone glanced the cover just for fuck that and just walked off. <laughs> Even during the toilet paper shortage, they just figured, nah. Uh, but for the other crew, what were you going to look into? I was going to look either in the present or the past, likely the past, for Lolf's scheme of what the fuck she's up to here. Depends on when their turnover is in the books. Didn't we do that already? No, we didn't look for what her plan is. Like, we've only ever really scried on Lolf's involvement here. It's like, what is her... Like, where written form is the insight into why is she doing this? And I can even look up whose those fucking eggs are. Alright, so that's what Harton is doing. Was anybody else looking up that weapon from uh, Baphomet? Sure, I'll look it up. Okay, so does anybody else have anything, or is it just going to be those two things? Oh, I was going to look for any additional demons that might have turned up that we don't know about yet. Okay, let me do a quick check to make sure that I haven't forgotten anybody. Um, okay, there we go. That's all I need. Um, so, right. First, then we'll do um, Parton. What? Uzana, who are you going with? Probably with Harden. Okay. Yeah, so that's a, that's gonna be an auto successful. Good um, luck, you fucks. 
<laughs> it's okay, you got Gaddix. You just have to motivate him, so good luck there. You know, Gaddix, I think there are some pretty... There probably had to be some pretty interesting contraptions in the use of making that sword. He's got a point. You son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> See, that, or you've got to work out how the strange giant weapon in the middle of the labyrinth works. So, Harton, you and Uzana, whoever decides to go with you, um, it doesn't take... It's more of a lot of little bits and pieces to figure out what exactly is going on. Best you can tell... She's trying to take over the abyss itself. Not just little bits of it, but all of it. And the general plan is by kicking everybody else out, establishing her control, and breeding demons who are loyal to her, and putting them in those levels. Uh, right. Most of those eggs are hers. All right, but that's only half the ownership. <laughs> <laughs> it's not noted who the fathers are. <laughs> she has a on her underlings. In the I've got a complaint for the staff here. There's a missing piece of knowledge. I thought this was going to be a comprehensive study of the existence. Maybe the maybe the deposit uh, for the eggs was collected above ground. <laughs> Well, you have to consider, Lolf probably also doesn't care who the father was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is not, her opinion does not factor into this at all. This is empirical, unbiased okay. research study. I mean, my wife agrees with me, right? We shouldn't be exempting information just because of her opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, though, so, so it's actually a pretty simple scheme. Fucking bonkers, of course. Never gonna work. She just pumped them and dumped them. But it's more logical than I would have expected. Well, it also gives us a nice bargaining chip. If a demon does not particularly want to go home, uh, there's good reason. They right. get it to want to go back home. Yeah, I'd imagine that our powers would be severely diminished without if uh, Lolf take over. And I mean, spider webs are so gauche, you know. They're not like blood dripping spikes, an infinitesimal maze. She's just kind of bland, you know, very basic. Well, right, I'm satisfied with this study then. Next one. Horik. Who, who has gone with Horik? Uh, Horik went to try and find demons, right? Oh, no, I, I know what Hork, Yeah, he went to go find demons. Who has gone with Horik? Wasn't that Bjorn and I? No, we went for the sword. The sword, okay. Yeah. The weapon. Yeah, all, um, this, uh, the sword. This re all this religious stuff is way above... Uh, Bjorn's level, but a sword. I can get behind a sword. Oh no, it's a weapon, not sword. They just said oh, weapon. weapon. All weapons are swords. Unless they're guns. <laughs> well, Bjorn, you know, I, you I say that, but Gaddix has a short sword and a gun, so, you know, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, who went with Hork? I bet I would have gone along. We have Bernard and Horik. Who else? Okay, we have this Bernard is... and Horik. Yep. Bernard and Horik, give me a wisdom check. Oh, uh, this is Maybe. a good sign. <laughs> you accidentally opened the first page. You're of a monk and a druid. Wisdom is one of your main stats. <laughs> yeah, you're good at these, you, as I say. You, you say that? <laughs> Fine. Bernard, you get Horik right there. Horik, you get right there. You're both fine. You will find the list 
is exhaustive. I was um, hoping it was ar arranged by rank, so I could just check the top ones to see, see, or at see least it, location. Um, um, this is an intelligent place. This would be helpful, but the problem is there's just too much to be sorting right now, and this is changing too quickly. You do know, you think you've gotten all of the big, bad, important top ones for the moment. Uh, you know at one point Marilith was there. She doesn't seem to be down there right now. Now Feshni was down there, doesn't seem to be down there by now. Oddly enough, Baylor is not there. But you, you're kind of getting the idea that um, there are too many demons to really keep track of individual ones. But you think you've got all the important ones. So generally, you know roughly all who's down there. And then he sees, unfortunately, a few familiar names from when we were just cruising around. However, as you are walking between walkways... You turn a corner, and, oh, come on, where is that? There we go, that's the button I was looking for. You turn the corner, and way down at the end of the aisle, there is a rather tall, slender man. Oh, no. Jet black skin. Um... He's definitely a, um, he's definitely an echo of some kind, but tall, slender, he's kind of picking through the books, uh, slightly muscular, uh, cloven feet, and he's just perusing the books. Hmm. Oh, Bernard's going to leave him in peace. Do I recognize what this is? You're looking at what this is. You get closer. Yeah, why not? This can only end badly. Maybe I can punch something. Yep, you see um, the echo as you get closer. It... He's a lot taller than you thought, actually, now that you finally are getting a better view on things. He's kind of towering over the bookshelves. He does not require a step up. Very pretty. Do I know what race um, he is, or...? Uh, give me a... either religion or arcana. Never mind, he does actually have boots. I'm an idiot. I can't. The, the art I'm looking at is weird. But, um. Horik, it does not take very long to realize you're looking at a demon. Okay. Not what uh, I expected here, but why not ask the question? Hello! <laughs> uh. You see, he looks a little bit surprised. He had been reaching out to grab a book with his uh, six-fingered hand. And turns around. Why, hello there. Who are you? I go by Horrock. How about you? Why would you give us even your name? It's an echo. It's not a real <laughs> demon. We've gone over what these are. <laughs> well, that's a curious name. What are you doing here? Where are you from? around. I'm currently researching demons in the Underdark. We seem to have too many of them at the moment. Well, that is fascinating. I just came here to study the Underdark. Uh, where Are you from the top or down below? 
uh, a top originally. Uh, I'm new to the under uh, dark as well. Um, oh, fascinating. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell me more? Uh, well, apparently Lolf has decided she wants to rule the abyss and may she trick or something a large number of powerful demons out of the abyss so she can take over. Well, that is definitely fascinating. Uh, I meant, though, about the surface. It's there. Um, I don't he kind of gets a little bit of a grin. <laughs> thousands really? of How platinum spent. Thousands of platinum spent in meetings. Months and months of deliberation among the Lord's Alliance, and that's the best they came up with for a tourism board. The surface <laughs> land. It's there. It's there. <laughs> You just yeah. and you you see it for a fucking split second as you're hurdling in a mine cart out of Gondolgrim. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much longer it will be there if the Lolf's plan goes ahead, which is why I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> What's your favorite place on the surface? My mother's kitchen, the food there was exquisite. Oh, where is, where, where, where is it? Maybe I should be willing to make me something. I've got bad news there. I don't think you can leave this place. Hmm. This echo might not, but I can. Yes, but I don't, I don't think you can actually talk to your own echo. <laughs> Oh, I mean... You're really hoping now. <laughs> we'll have to find out, won't we, friend? Maybe one day. Who knows? Maybe I can tell myself <laughs> the recipes I've found. Run along, little friend. Maybe I'll see you later. And we'll test your theory. <laughs> Forgot to get his name. Yeah, I'm tr what was your name again? I seem to have missed it. Last. Let's. Okay. Last. Let's. Are, are you doing that in character? <laughs> All right, I'm missing sounds here. <laughs> okay. There we go. I just typed it in chat for you. Grats. Grats. One of the demon lords you were looking into. Um, yeah. Okay. This is good. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, how do you feel about Loth taking over the, the abyss? Well, she's not going to succeed for very long. Oh, how's that? Do you think any of us are really going to let her just take control of the abyss? Well, the only way that would happen is if uh, we really got free run of Toril, in which case, well, I could theoretically see us not returning, but uh, once we die, we'd go back to the abyss and then we'd just kick her out. Okay. Um, seeing you're apparently up here running around, is there any way I could convince you to tell me how to convince you how to go back willingly to take care of this mess? No. <laughs> oh, <well>, worth a try. <laughs> yeah, you shot your shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just reaches down and pats you on top of the head. Is he solid? Yeah. Okay. I hand, hand him what, one of my um, current morning snacks. He looks baffled. Try it. It's good. Uh, I will make a note of that. Thank you, little one. <laughs> Just shitting himself. <laughs> Defaulting. You Offer food, know. make eye contact, firm handshake. <laughs> you just be gone now. I'm busy. Okay. Uh, 
when did you... <clears throat> I was just wondering I said be gone say... okay <laughs> 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 Do you be gone? I be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Shifting over to the other crew. <laughs> Ult ultimate weapon, ultimate weapon, ultimate weapon. I probably should go down to the U section, but whatever. <laughs> the first three books are, uh, 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 are dedicated to potatoes for some <laughs> strange reason. <laughs> how to how to make explosive alcohol for a potato? Mm. Why is uh, that on the ultimate? Bjorn, <laughs> you you're turning around the corner to look for, and you're like ultimate weapon, ultimate weapon. You turn right around and you run smack dab into a young drow. Oh, uh, pat me, uh... Huh. No, you're not one I recognize. Uh, he... looks over to you. And it's a really weird moment where you can see he's looking at you. He looks very pissed off. <laughs> but he's also not looking at you. Which is pretty clear as you kind, kind of see a, a bit of, um... I, I bet he just looks over me. No, 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 no. Well, uh, actually, well, actually, yeah, come to think of it, yeah, he wouldn't be... He's probably looking a little bit above you, just because uh, you see there's a slight issue in the fact that uh, his eyes seem to have uh, milked over. Ah. He can't see. This Echo cannot see. Oh, uh, uh that mate. You can tell there's a little bit of a scarring up near his eyes as well. And he just looks really annoyed. Why don't you watch where you're going? You know what? I can't exactly say the same to you, so fair point. You insolent little wretch! Do you know who <laughs> I am? Can't say I do, no. I am Jalfane Oblodra, and I am here to fix my little issue, and then take revenge on that stupid, ridiculous house that cast me out! Get out of my way! All right, didn't ask for your fucking backstory there. But... <laughs> <laughs> Next time, show some respect to Brunner Battlehammer. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back to it, it, and it's it takes a moment to see what he's actually doing, but he's reading the uh, names on the. All right, what what is uh, it now that the uh, system for blind people reading Braille? He's actually not reading in right, Braille. But... No, yeah, but he I'm is actually going. not. I, I think the Braille section might be further down, though. I am not looking for that. I am there, finding I the books that. I require by feeling along the edges. Then I can find somebody to assist me with their eyes. Go away, you wretched little thing. I mean, I was kind of looking for something else. Do you need my eyes to help you out? You know. That's a little bell, right? Compared I, for knocking into you. I don't need your eyes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. Well, good luck, I suppose. You got a lot of books to fundling. You're only on the third row. There's about how high do these shelf go? <laughs> uh, stupidly high. Uh, and I he think just. You had a about 2,000 rows more up there to go, so, well, good luck, have fun. Quickly rearranges all the stools to get underfoot. <laughs> I will find them no problem. Be gone. Alright, just keeps smothering. Ultimate weapon, ultimate weapon. Ultimate Here's the thing, though, was that, was that man or echo? Echo. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think most of what we are Batching into uh, gotta be echoes. It's, yeah, it's important to know, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is an echo. Um, give me and everybody who is with Bjorn your wisdom check. The only oh, thing dear. with him is a man and his dog. Now, where's Lou? Talking after realizing no one cares oh. about Art Incarnate. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Lou, you, you find the, the idea that you, you came no, back to the later. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, a reminder, but that's what he was doing. We were all looking for various things. He was Googling himself. <laughs> and now, but now Lou is helping Felwork out with whatever Felwork wants to do, so. <laughs> He's in charge now. Uh, Gaddix keeps getting lost, but Bjorn, you, you steer him the right way. Not you find some information. Weapon. Ultimate weapon, not base weapon. Ultimate. <laughs> is it you? You right, find. I mean, Gaddix hit you back with first... a fine point. He was looking for final weapon. It's just as good as ultimate. <laughs> it's the last one. <laughs> looking for an ultimate weapon in the labyrinth. Uh, surprisingly enough, it takes a while to parse it out. You find a specific reference finally. The ultimate well, weapon in the labyrinth. A... Oh, go on. Oh, look, this one has a, has a sword on his spine. I think it's this one. <laughs> you finally find a reference of somebody referring to something called the maze engine as the ultimate weapon that can be used to reshape the entirety of the Underdark. It can change what is, was, and what will be, and can change the environment itself. Huh. What do you look at that? I was correct. This, this is a contraption for you, Garrix. I look at as over. far. Yep. Uh, as far as you know. Uh, okay, let me pull this up a little bit just to make sure that I got the correct info. Um. It's nobody is quite sure where exactly it came from, at least in these books um, that you're reading. But you do know that the Modrons find this, um, they refer to it as an orderer. Because as far as I can tell, it was designed to bring order to chaos. Um, it is something that uh, is not. That kind of level of power is something that a demon lord probably shouldn't have. Particularly as demon lords are chaos, they don't like things that make order. If he can corrupt something like that, it could be a problem. Does it say anything in the book about, like, is it a huge, like, factory machine or... It is a machine. Um, uh, what does this look like? Because it does mention it's a 20 foot diameter sphere built of one foot wide bands of mechanically hardened shaped bronze engraved with arcane symbols. And you can see inside there are various gears and articulated arms within the sphere which rotate and shift. It is a piece of mechanic. Oh, yeah, it's just more like, is it a movable? Ah, uh, that's a little bit hard. Nobody's moved it. Okay, so it doesn't look like this as wheels or something, or... I start described as <laughs> having wheels or legs or something to move. No, it, it's not described as movable. Okay. So it is like just finding a console that did, uh, just starts moving things around in the Underdark, essentially. Kind of. Um, like like a sliding me... puzzle. Something, this isn't quite right, because this is um, from a video. You don't have to go into that much uh, detail. Well, no, I'm just saying that. Uh, Tabletop. This isn't quite right. It, it has more gears and other things, but this is a description from the Neverwinter game. So think of pretty much giant sphere that kind of spins around. Oh, right. Top. Okay. So the things from Event Horizon. Gotcha. <laughs> Just with less spikes. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So you all do collect again to share your findings. What do you all think? But the rudest blind drill. What? I found it. I found it. My, uh, it's a party. It's a machine that can make things move around down here. Oh. It can reshape reality. Not just move yeah. around, but it can reshape all of reality. That's worse. Control time yeah. itself. Oh, okay, so it wasn't just the underdog it can manipulate, okay. It can put time password forward, but, back, but yet, everything. But yet, but yet, apparently, it kept talking about something called Motrons. I have no fucking clue what that's about, but... I have weird little illustrations. I think they are very marketable little creatures. Like a minion type of creature. Anyway, how did your research go about? Well, Horik, are you going to report your findings? <laughs> yeah. We don't have any extras, but um, Gretz has been to the library at some point in the past or future or however the system works and is wandering around the, the best thing. Up the upside. <laughs> yeah, that, that that is a point, Horik. You don't realize if you have talked to him, his future self or past self. Will you chat with him? A short one. It was interesting and terrifying. Yeah, it can't be that bad. It wasn't like you gave him your name or anything, right? Hey, you didn't tell him where you live. Right. I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him where I live. <laughs> Currently. <laughs> Horik, I'm only here in one denial, not the two I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't give him my full name. There's not that many Horiks on the boat. What do you mean? There's several thousand. It's a common halfling name. <laughs> Gonna fly and play that, are you? It's not as common as Dave. Oh God, don't get me started on Dave or David, as it were. Or the Riddlebiddles. I think they're a close second. Uh, no, John. <laughs> I've got like three dozen Uncle John. Do you know how that ma difficult that makes Christmas? <laughs> I mean, the invention of Christmas is a sucky one as well. <laughs> well, did, what did you talk to him about? I asked him how he would feel about Lolf taking over the abyss. He was not too happy about that, but say they'd deal with it after it happened, unfortunately. Well, that means he probably got here before we did then. That's what I was thinking. He's an earlier copy, at least. Right. You hope? Well, I think he would have known otherwise. There would have been less than three. told me that. Yeah. I did ask him whether there was some way I could convince him, uh, convince him to head back without us having to fight him. Unfortunately, he said no. Well, what little I know about him, you wouldn't be the one that could tempt him. We need something a bit more like uh, Silky, for example. Or as uh, Gax described, the various dry women at hand. His hands, I mean. Yeah. I mean, you still go for it, I just don't think you're a priority target. Ah, uh, right, so... Guess we... Yeah. Have a rest tonight and then head out tomorrow. Oh, sounds oh. good. Well, Vizrin did say that he was going to... He was oh, going yeah, to seek you him. out tomorrow. 
Let's ask about sick loot nearby. Well, I mean, we got to head out first thing, so we'll wait around. You can check anything else, Lou. How went your search? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is I didn't watch myself die. Quite the contradictory, actually. The bad news is our art incarnate is dead. All right. Okay. No, don't ask any further. He means that he had to go back and get the books himself. That's not what I said. And then you run back to a pawn shop, probably. I can still make a donation to the museum, I think. Did you at least check which badges you still had? <laughs> no, it was a surprisingly <laughs> brief interaction of me seeing myself. <laughs> it seems like almost I said it instead of the god that was supposed to tell me about it. I just look back, he has, he has even more badges now. But he's missing <laughs> the original ones, it's a whole different set. Yeah. <laughs> he's just part of so many fucking organizations now, he can't even remember who he... Every time he does anything, it benefits the other and destroys the other plan. I'm the open and a masked lord of Waterdeep at the same time? <laughs> oh, good luck with that one. Good luck, they have one open lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, but the, it's the part of, of where there's like, we gotta influence the mask, uh, the open lord, because he he can infiltrate this one mask lord we really need on our side. <laughs> Which is the same, it turns out to be the same one. To be fair, from what I've gotten in the song so far, Lou could be an, a, a mask lord of Waterdeep. Mind you, any of us could have. We've got better <laughs> credentials than some that have shown up in this book. So you all do retire for the night. You wake up. Are you planning on doing anything or just lazing about until Vizarin seeks you out? Well, yeah. seeing work is being being done, sort of. Uh, Horak is going to check out the cooking section of the library. Because he hasn't <laughs> yet. You're going to cook for books, eh? There might be volume two of the potato book here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Horik is looking for potatoes. Is anybody else looking for... Generally, you all know, you looked up everything you needed to. If there's anything that's particularly fun that you think you might want to look up, you can. Yeah, I'll go for Go and uh, teach the kids a bit of history about Gauntlegrim. There's bound to be some good info on there. <laughs> Tales of the Horag Dwarfs and whatnot. Yeah, I think Coffee maker going? of holding. Yeah, I mm -hmm. will kind of do the same, but uh, he'll just uh, sit with the, with the elder and just uh, have beer and let her talk about the whole reconstruction efforts. <laughs> so the dwarves are having a date. Um, what is everybody else doing? The forest, you say? Please tell me more. It's another pint just being held up, uh, <laughs> being filled up. I'm mean, surprised you don't burst some of suggestions, my love. You've got so much potential here at your fingertips, and you can find every little volume you need. True, true, but then where's the excitement? Where's the fun? Yeah, plus, of course, is the main issue. It only comp comprises information about the Underdark. Not as exciting as the surface. 